We locked eyes when we were introduced. It was like a jolt. I just immediately wanted to know her. It's probably the first relationship I've been in where I've thought more long-term about what <laughs> our lives may be like. When Harry was born, I can't even describe it. They put this little baby on you and all of a sudden you have a family. My life would have been totally different if I hadn't met him. I probably never would have had all these different experiences. Throughout these 36 years, we've traveled the world. We are getting married on October 11th. Which happens to be National Coming Out Day, which we didn't know until after we picked that date. Planning a honeymoon as a queer couple, we have to be really careful about where we go. Traveling as a gay couple, some countries are less friendly than others. We spent time looking into local laws and how they deal with gay people. Our first travel was the one to Hawaii. They just assumed that here are these two guys, so we're gonna give you a room that's got two separate beds. We couldn't say. We, we sleep together all the time, you know, it's just you couldn't say it in those days. Traveling together, big towns, small towns, we pass as a straight couple. I know what experiences I had before I transitioned, but I never was in the middle of the country in these conservative towns. If people knew that I was trans and that we were queer, would these people talk to us? Would they be kind to us? You never want to come across a situation where you're with your child and you're going to deny, you know, being yeah. a family. Yeah. Or pretend like you're a mother and an aunt. I guess the ultimate fear is your safety. I don't know that Harry understands that people discriminate against gay people. When you grew up gay in the 50s and 60s, you had to pretend you, it was your fishing buddy or your college roommate. Will we be catcalled? Will we be followed? For our honeymoon, I don't want to be attacked. We want to be able to express our love and be able to be affectionate and feel comfortable and safe. Having to hide this aspect of ourselves does sort of feel like taking a step back or hiding something that we work so hard to achieve. I never feel like I can fully just be myself. We thought that this would be a child who could have every opportunity and there would be some experiences he can't have because of our family situation. It's not like we're trying to be disrespectful or break any laws. We just want to hold hands and celebrate, just like anybody else. Travel breaks down barriers because people see you. You're no longer a mystery. My greater hope would be that beyond just being tolerated by a society, but actually being accepted. You shouldn't be hoping for tolerance. People should appreciate you for the way that you are. It's just about making human contact. We deserve life and opportunities and happiness. Traveling is a form of freedom. I would love to really experience the world knowing that you're welcome anywhere you go.